Hi, I'm Chloe, and welcome to my furniture flipping class for beginners. Thank you so much for joining me, and I can't wait to get started. What I want you to get out of this class is how to do a simple flip. So take an easy piece like a nightstand, a small side table, desk, or even a small dresser, and just do a basic flip on it. I've been doing this for a long time now, and I really started from scratch and I've sampled a ton of products and paints and supplies and tools. And I feel like I've got a pretty good base list for the supplies that you really need if you're gonna do a furniture flip. You're gonna need more if you plan on starting up a little side hustle or even turning it into a business, but this is just what you need for one flip. So um, hopefully you've already looked at the supply list guide and you've gotten all your supplies and tools and products um, but if not we'll go over it really quick okay so here's what you need for a basic flip um, number one is paint brushes and I'm a strict believer in zebra in the zebra paint brushes they are all I use I never I don't I don't get any other paint brushes so my absolute favorite one if you're just gonna buy one brush and that's all you want is this palm pro the zebra palm pro so it's a two inch angled brush and it's just a little got like a little palm handle it fits so perfectly in the palm of your hand and since it is on an angle you can easily get to all the corners and in the crevices that you need to so if you're going to get a paintbrush i recommend this one if you this one is the traditional handle um it's the same it's got a two inch angled um brush and it's got the traditional handle so if you think that you might want to hold it more like this like a pencil if that's what you're used to um, this one is also really good I love this little one too this little guy um, I just got this recently and it's it's really easy um, for maybe doing the edges say like that if you don't want your paint to kind of glob up on all the sides this one is really good for the edges um, next up is paint and so I thought about this really carefully and I have a couple different brands of paint that I absolutely love and work with all the time. Um, but I want to say that the very easiest paint to work with as a beginner is this one hour enamel by wise owl. This is my absolute number one recommendation. If you are just starting out, if you've never painted anything before and if you are just doing a basic flip this is the paint that i would recommend it goes on so smooth it's really user friendly um, it dries beautifully um, and you really don't need a top coat um, i've done many pieces without a top coat in this paint and it's lasted beautifully so that's what i'm going to be using for this furniture flip um, no matter what you've heard no matter, you know, even if you've tried it before, um, the number one thing to not skip is the primer. I know there's tons of paint saying out there saying that you don't need a primer and that you don't need to sand, and that's just, I have never found that to be true. Sure, you can slap a coat of paint on anything without priming it, but the it's not going to last. The quality is not going to be as good. Um, there's just really no way around it. For the top, I'm going to use a wood stain and again we are not sanding all the way down to the bottom so this is what I suggest the Verathane one coat wood stain a little bit thicker than regular stain but if you are not sanding all the way down to bare wood this is exactly what you need and this will be linked don't worry and then of course with your paint and stains just grab a couple of mixer mixing sticks and a paint opener very simple um, you can grab this at a store when you're getting the rest of your supplies. Now, for sanding, we're gonna keep this really, really simple because I'm only doing a scuffed sand. And even with the top where I'm gonna be staining, still only sanding off a very thin layer. So you need a 120 grit sandpaper and a 220 grit sandpaper. Um, you don't need a sanding block, but it will be helpful in the overall sanding process and easier on your joints. Um, so those are the two sanding supplies you need. Um, you do want a pair of gloves to work with for the sanding um, part. Just say never, this may seem like a little bit too much, especially if you're doing it outside, but 
I never, never, never skip when I'm sanding wearing my respirator. So you will wanna go out, grab a respirator. If you don't already have one, um, this is a good thing to have in your house anyway. Whenever you're working with bleach or even strong cleaning products, um, it's not a bad idea to throw on a respirator. So go out, grab a respirator. They're very affordable at Home Depot, Menards, one of the things that I usually have on hand is a, I have a bowl which I use to collect um, the handles and the hardware. Um, when I'm taking this off, I just throw it in the bowl, put it somewhere safe, and that way I don't lose anything, especially if I'm reusing the hardware. Um, you're gonna need a screwdriver for removing the hardware, um, a, a old Tupperware container. Um, this is what you wanna pour your paint in. It's just really handy for preserving the leftover paint. Um, go ahead, grab your old Bona Beef um, yogurt, whatever Tupperware container and bring that over. I like to use, I like to have a spray bottle of water or very mild cleaning solution on hand. Um, oh, and then just like a, you know, this can just be like a cardboard um, box or whatever kind of like a old tray that you have on hand and that's just for easy, like bringing it in and out. You know, you can throw all your supplies in here. Obviously a no brain. And I almost forgot, just grab a couple pairs of the plastic gloves to wear when you're painting, just so that you don't get paint all over your fingers. It's really handy <clears throat> for that. Um, and also I always have a couple old rags on hand um, for cleaning, for wiping off spills, whatever. Um, and then for the top coat, um, so the paint doesn't need a top coat, but the top where we're going to do some staining um, will need a top coat. So, so I have a water-based polyurethane in a crystal clear satin. Um, this is very easy to work with. It's a good product. Um, it goes on nice and smooth and is one of the easier ones to work with. So that's the one that I recommend for doing a top coat over um, a stain, which I think will work really well for this project. And then you're just gonna apply it with one of these foam brushes. 50 cents or so at your local Home Depot or Menards, or you can get them in a pack um, of a couple different sizes, but you wanna get the one that's about like two to three inches wide. Um, and then one final thing that I like to have on hand is just like a little metal stick or something. Um, you'll find that once you take the hardware out, you need to be able to open and close the drawer sometimes before you put it back on, and this can be really handy. So that's all. Hopefully that was really helpful, and I can't wait to see you at the class.